Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm here to show you what a denial of service attack is and how it looks in real time. So we're actually going to perform a denial of service attack on one of my machines here today. So first of all, let's look at what a denial of services uh, attack is. So basically in a denial of service attack, uh, an attacker or a hacker uses uh, all the consumes all the resources available to a user or to a service or to a website and then it just basically uses all those uh, resources so that a genuine user does not have access to these resources. So if you look at this uh, picture, this is a distributed denial of service. So here's an attacker, it uses like compromised machines, a lot of them and targets this server. But in this, uh, in our case, we just have one machine and one target and we are trying to compromise this one target using one uh, machine. And which is possible, which is pretty cool and scary at the same time. So first of all, let's take a look at this uh, Windows machine that I have. Uh, if we look at the CPU consumption over here, uh, it's around like baseline around here, around like 10% maybe, and I can open up a browser, it opens up pretty quick. I can even like uh, open up some other uh, browser and it does everything fine, right? Now, uh, we're going to launch an attack on this machine. So I'm gonna go to my Parrot security. I'm going to turn this off and let's open up a new terminal. Let's get the access, super user access. Now I already know that the IP address of that machine is 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10, uh, so I'm going to try to uh, see all the open ports on that machine using nmap. nmap minus p and then I'm going to give you a range of 1 to uh thousand and then gonna give the ip address of that machine and it's gonna scan all the ports and then so it's gonna scan all the open ports on that machine now i know there is like these ports are open on this machine now i'm going to try to uh, do a dos attack on this first port port number 21. so in order to do that i'm going to use a tool called hping so it's a hping 3 and minus D, the minus D switch is, uh, gives the size of the packet. So it's going to be a really big, since we are trying to use all the resources we are trying to send, we will send like big chunk of data to that machine so that it uses all its resources to process that uh, data. So let's see, that's six, five, five, three, nine. Uh, let's do three, eight, okay. And then minus S, that's just a handle for SYN uh, packet and then minus p that's port number port number is 21 and then we're going to do minus minus flood so we are going to flood the machine with a lot of data and the ip address of the machine that's 10.10.10 .10 .10. and right after we hit enter it says asking in flood mode and no replies will be shown so now let's go back to our windows 10 machine and see what's happening over here You can see it's already gone around the CPU is constantly at uh, around 100% and if I click uh, refresh, it won't work. It is not working. I, I'm trying to click a browser, open up the browser, it's not working. Trying to open up start menu, it's not working. Nothing is working over here because all the resources on this machine is being consumed in order to uh, process the data from that uh, from the attacker's machine. Now if I go back over here and do uh, and turn off this uh, program, it's going to show that we have already transmitted this many packets and each packet would have like this size. So it's a lot of data going in there. It's transmitting a lot of data. Now, since we have closed this up, now let's see if the Windows machine is back and we can see everything is processing well. and we can see that this huge bump in the use of CPU uses and also the Ethernet uses since the packets are coming in through network channels. So after all, it's back to after this, it's back to normal. Now this is what most uh, attackers or hackers use 
in order to bring down web services, for example, Amazon or Facebook. Now, these companies have all these big corporations have a lot of uh, safeguards in order to protect from this kind of uh, attacks. But again, this kind of uh, like the DOS or the DDoS attacks are usually normal and they still cause a lot of pain and grief uh, every year. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.